Hi everybody! Recently I purchased this obscure USB fingerprint. The model is WA28. You can find it in places like Amazon or AliExpress. Let's see if it works on Linux. Well, actually we need to start with unboxing. So here is WA28 USB fingerprint reader. It comes in a cardboard box. There is no brand. I can't find a brand neither on the front nor on the back of the box, but there is a service email at outlook.com. I guess we shouldn't expect any proper support from the manufacturer of this thing. The device itself looks pretty decent. The black plastic is nice. Uh, the cable is about 1.5 uh, meters long. It's a USB device and works at 5 volts. Although we don't know the brand of this device, you can easily find it in Amazon and even in AliExpress by typing in WA28. Various sellers are offering it. The user ratings are mediocre, but not too bad. Obviously, the majority or pretty much all of the owners are using it on Microsoft Windows, but in this video, we're gonna try it out on Linux. This USB fingerprint reader costs about 25 US dollars at Amazon and it's cheaper in AliExpress. According to the very brief information on the back of the box, WA28 works with Windows 10 and above. There is nothing mentioned about other operating systems or any Linux distributions. However, as you know, I'm an open source enthusiast. I use Linux and in this video, I'm going to try get this USB fingerprint reader working on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. For the demonstrations in this video, I'm going to use one of my desktop computers and surprise, surprise, for the regular viewers of my YouTube channel, no, it's not a Think Center, it's an HP. I plug the fingerprint reader in one of the USB connectors on the computer and as you can see a red LED indicated that it is turned on. As I mentioned the computer is running Ubuntu 24.04 so I opened a terminal and I typed in sudo apt update to refresh the package repositories and after that I've installed fprintd and lipam fprintd. These are open source user space tools to use fingerprint readers in Linux. Actually, as you can see in the terminal, both have been already installed in the system and I have the newest versions as of the moment. After that, again in the terminal, I run the fprintd and row command. And unfortunately, it responded with an error. Impossible to enroll, no devices available. In other words, the USB fingerprint reader that I have doesn't work on Ubuntu 24.04, at least not out of the box. I had to debug this thing, so I listed the available USB devices. As you can see, LS USB returns a list of devices that includes chip sailing CS9711 fingerprint. Now I know that my USB reader is actually using this very specific chip CS9711. As part of the initial debugging, I also checked the kernel logs to see if there is anything suspicious about this device. We're dealing here with a no-name Chinese USB fingerprint reader and a Chinese chip that is not very well documented. Okay, things didn't work out of the box. Obviously, WA28 USB fingerprint reader actually uses a chip called CS9711 and it is not supported with the upstream versions of the software for fingerprint reading on Linux. But that's not all. Thanks to the open source nature of the Linux distributions, we can deep dive, have a look at the source code and figure out how to solve this problem. But instead of spending hours debugging this, let's first have a quick Google search or just ask an AI assistant for help. And the Google results return a fork of the libfprint library specifically for SC9711. Eric, a talented developer from France, has forked libfprint and added support for CS9711. This is a very experimental and has very little testing for false positives. So keep in mind this and don't use it for anything that matters as of the moment. A year ago, an issue was opened in the upstream of 
libfprint, and people are working for proper upstream support for CS9711. Until this is done, we can use the fork by Eric. Eric has shared the source code of his fork on GitHub, so I've cloned it on my computer. The git clone command downloaded the repository from GitHub to a newly created directory on my computer. After that, I've entered the directory and listed the available files. We'll need Messen to build it from source. There are also a bunch of various different dependencies. Let me tell you my little secret. I have already figured out these dependencies, so I created a gist and I can do just copy and paste to run apt install for all of them. Details are available in the description of the video, so you can follow the links and also just do copy and paste to do this installation on your site if you're following my exact steps. After installing these dependencies, I run the command Maison Setup Build. Unfortunately, this failed because of unexpected error. Although I have already installed doc test, package config was not able to find it. So as a solution, I manually created doctest.pc and uh, the exact steps are also available in the gist file that I've mentioned. As part of this fix, I also run a command to update the paykg underscore config underscore path environmental variable. So after this troubleshooting of doctest, I run Maison setup build again and this time the command succeeded without any errors. The next step is to run ninja with the C argument and to specify the build directory in which we run Meson previously. Ninja is an open source small tool for building your applications with focus on speed. libfprint relies on Meson and Ninja. After building the fork of libprint for CS9711, I need to run the ninja command again with the install argument to make sure that this fork of libfprint is actually installed on the system. I run the sudo ldconfig command to update the library cache and after that I've restarted the fprint system this service with system control restart fprintd. If you remember at the beginning of the video in the previous chapter, I ran the fprintd enroll command, which unfortunately back then uh, returned an error because no fingerprint reader was found. Now this time I ran it again, but a fingerprint reader was found and I was able to start scanning my fingerprints. Now things look good, so it's time for a demonstration. Here is another point of view how fprint d and row works. I run the command in the terminal, I'm touching the fingerprint reader with my finger and you can see how it detects uh, my fingerprint, everything seems fine and by the end of the demonstration the end row has been completed. Finally this obscure USB fingerprint reader is working. I've tried it out from the command line interface and now I can proceed to the next step and integrate it from the graphical user interface uh, available on Ubuntu so that I can log in with my finger. Ubuntu 2404 LTS uses the GNOME desktop environment, so from the graphical user interface I opened the settings application, selected systems, users and enabled fingerprint login for my user. I removed the scanned fingerprint, it existed uh, because of the previous demonstration that I did and I've enrolled again the uh, index finger on my right hand. Thanks to the magic of video editing and to save your time I speeded up this part of the video. The second demonstration is far more practical. I've logged out and I've logged in as my user by using my fingerprint instead of typing my password. This was pretty cool, so I tried it again. I've logged out and logged in just using my fingerprint. Finally, the WA28 USB fingerprint reader, which actually inside has CS9711, works on my setup with Ubuntu 2404. For the final demonstration, I restarted the computer. As you can see, after booting the system, I was able to select my user from the login screen and log in by just touching the fingerprint reader. Keep in mind that I've scanned only the index finger on my right hand, so the login works only if I use it. So now let's summarize this video. I use WA28 USB fingerprint reader. 
It appears that it's built around chip sailing CS9711 chip from a Chinese company. This doesn't work out of the box on Ubuntu 2404, so I had to clone the libfprint CS9711 Git repository from GitHub and build it from source. There is a work in progress to add this to the upstream of libfprint. Until then, I recommend you to either avoid this particular fingerprint reader or use the fork as you have seen in this video. Now you know how to get WA28 USB fingerprint reader working on a Linux distribution, specifically on Ubuntu. And the steps for Debian are pretty much the same. You can apply the same knowledge for any other fingerprint reader using the same chip CS9711. Uh, the steps for other Linux distributions like uh, Fedora, OpenSUSE are slightly different due to the different uh, package managers, but in general are the same. However, the moral of the story, in my opinion, has nothing to do with USB um, fingerprint readers. This video demonstrated how to do problem solving and we were able to do this thanks to the nature of open source software. Talk is cheap, we have to look at the source code and when we have access to the source code we can do debugging and problem solving. This is something fantastic for engineers and open source gives you all these opportunities to go and fix things. And the other thing that you get as a bonus with open source is that other people might have already fixed it for you, like in this case with the USB fingerprint reader that I demonstrated. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.